Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Spiral. I don't know how to feel because I know I'm at the end of my journey with the Saw movies. Slightly sad, but I'm happy that I did it. If you guys go back to my first reaction, I didn't want to. I, I, I didn't want any part of it. I was terrified and now I feel like I've grown, I've changed, I've morphed. I feel very differently about the horror genre. And I may have started with probably the most perfect collection of movies that may have ruined me for the rest of my horror movie reactions because these were amazing. The stories, the villains, the connectivity, I have enjoyed every morsel, except Jigsaw. It's not even that I hated Jigsaw. Um, it made me mad when I was editing it because it was very inconsistent. Um, it didn't feel like a Saw movie and the way that they jumped time didn't make any sense. I found myself very confused by the time jumps and there was a reason why. And, and, and I thought like, I was like, wow, they, they, they really got me. <laughs> no, no, mm -mm. they just did a really bad job making a movie. <laughs> it was very lazy and it upset me because I don't feel like there is one Saw movie besides Jigsaw that was not well thought out. There might be ever so slight plot holes in some of the films, but they are not big enough to fall into and delve in. Jigsaw, Tobin Bell was in it. Logan had potential to be, you know, a good I don't know if it would be a protagonist or an antagonist. I don't know. Is the, is the killer a protagonist? <laughs> I have no idea. But either way, I'm ready to move on from that. I am a little sad because I recently realized that as, as I was going through my library of my reactions, I was like, I should put these on Patreon so you guys could see all the stuff that I don't put in my reactions. A lot of it's probably annoying because when I'm editing it, I get annoyed with myself, especially a lot of the medical stuff. I go off on tears, major tangents, but somewhere, somehow I erased my original saw reaction. I have tried recovery software, four different recovery softwares. I had our IT person come and look at both of my computers, my hard drive, the cloud, everything it, it didn't make it on it didn't make it onto my separate drive i'm sick about it i sat on my stairs and i cried for a couple minutes about it and then you know now i have to move on um i really was looking forward to re-editing that one and because youtube has hit me with copyright um it's my most viewed reaction but it's the one that is probably going to get me in trouble at some point. So that one's going to end up having to go on Patreon no matter what, but it won't be a full length reaction. That's unfortunate. I might even put it on Patreon for free. I don't even know how Patreon works. I don't know. We'll find out. I I'm nowhere close to even doing any of that, but I would like to at some point because I feel like if you enjoy the parts that I add in, you might enjoy my little quirks of the stuff that stays out. So the only thing that I know about Spiral is Chris Rock, which is not somebody that I would think of for a Saw franchise. I'm not going to prejudge. I just don't think of him. The, the fact that Samuel L. Jackson is in this. Now, I mean, that I can get behind. I love Samuel L. Jackson. But other than that, I don't know anything about them. I'm hoping that I get some sort of a sense that it is in the Saw universe, that they're not just cherry picking from, you know, oh, we're, we're going to Billy the Puppet. And obviously with the spiral aspect of it, we know where that comes from. But, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want a recreation, but I also don't want them just stealing and taking and picking and choosing little elements from Saw movies 
that they want to use or don't use. I just want it to feel like it belongs. I, I don't know. Am I going to get a pig face? Are you guys going to get a pig face? Or am I going to scream pig face? I don't know. It looks... <laughs> it's so funny how that used to terrify me. Like the first two movies, was not a fan of pig face. And now I'm just like, yes. <laughs> so delicious. Without me delaying any further, let's get to Spiral. And an FYI, I saw Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, tonight, and I loved it. As a child of the 80s, thought it was magnificent. Who's this guy? Police! Police! Okay, he's police. Why did he stop and wait? Uh, no thank you. Not just go down there. So we'll throw it out there. Not starting like a Saw movie. Whatever. Didn't expect it to. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't a real person. <gasps> <Big face! laughs> Is that his tongue? Tube TV, just want to point that out. Pig face, okay. Well, okay. I, I would just say that I don't think, um, as, as a dental professional, um, if you rip your tongue out, I'm, I'm pretty sure part of your esophagus comes with that or your throat will come with it. I'd rather die, quite frankly. <laughs> See? Part of the throat. That's wicked. That's so wicked. Doesn't feel like a song movie. <laughs> Between the music, <laughs> the vibe in general is different. On your own, as usual, no backup, nothing. Because there's nobody on the force, I can fucking trust. Saw is always about dirty cops for some reason. I want you to meet detective in training, William Shank. I know him. How do I know him? Handmaid's Tale. You're gonna throw up. Don't do it on the evidence. Again, I don't know how people can be homicide detectives. I'm that guy right there. I'm Shank. I mean, was the tongue hanging from the ceiling? Did the killer take it? That's new. Play me. That spiral is what I think it is. Jigsaw? If I were a homicide detective, I'd be freaking out if I thought the jigsaw killer was involving me. They don't fare well. Is it the tongue? What the fuck is that? <gasps> is that a fucking tongue? That's a fucking tongue. Uh, I don't know, rookie being queasy. I'm watching him. Me? No! You. I really don't enjoy Chris Rock's performance in this. He knew you were a good cop. You find out who did this. He knew Zeke was a good cop, but he wasn't a good cop. So Zeke might not be that great of a cop. Although he did turn in a cop for being a bad cop. Oh, for the love of God. Nick Fury. Sup, John? Miss you, buddy. Why do they have John's morgue photo up? Really? Let me borrow your phone. Shut up. Okay. okay. See, I don't trust him because he just took his phone. It's just my little spidey sense is tingling. What are you doing out here, Pops? On behalf of the Metro Police, I want to thank you for your generosity. Here, I thought that guy's scar was cool. Nope. Obviously, he's dead. You all right? Or it's a dummy. With pig face. Pig face! <laughs> I shouldn't be so excited about that stuff, I swear. Whenever there's gears. <laughs> Yikes. Hello, Detective Banks. But not the same doll, so kudos. I'll call dispatch and find out who was closest available. He doesn't have a scar on his face. 
Oh, well, they explained that. Hello, Detective Fetch. Oh, no, no. Ah. I'm such a wish. I can't, I, I can't even handle getting a hangnail. So could he have technically survived that or not? I don't know. Oh, I'm digging the green light. That reminds me of Saw. Why don't you let me scare a lot? <laughs> See, Shink has a problem with the way he handles business. I have a problem with the way he handles business, too, but this is me. John Kramer didn't target cops. Get him out of here. Take him to home. Please don't be anything to do with his dad. Yeah, just throw that down. No big deal. <laughs> it's a bomb that would have blown up. Uh, family. This is my wife, Emma. This is my son, Charlie. Okay. All my theories have been kind of blown apart. <laughs> Definitely thought that Shank was maybe in on it. No, 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 no. Are they gonna show us his face? Hello, Detective Shank. I want to play a game. How do we get a confirmation, though, that it's Shank? How, 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 do, how do we get confirmation on that? So my head's going back to Shank having his phone, having Zeke's phone. I'm all over the place. Theories run amok. That's me. You're looking for more bodies to drop. I'll take your head. Angie, you're the head of the department. Angie. Big face! Prop the door open! To stop yourself from being suffocated is to sever your spinal cord. Well, that's creative. I mean, the burns alone? No, thank you. Open it! Those green lights are burning. Giving me vibes. When was the last time you saw your father? That's what I was saying. You're too close to this thing, see? They always are, though. Still bothered by the fact that they said that John Kramer didn't target cops because he targeted dirty cops. Well, maybe not Kramer. Let me take it back. Let me see if John didn't do that. It's Hoffman. Not even dirty cops, but he targeted detectives. Anyway. Big face. The green lighting is making me happy. I knew it was coming. God, being chained to a pipe is not good in a Saw movie. Or a saw! Holy shit. What did you do? It's like, was the body hanging in the butcher shop? Was it the, the heroin guy at the very beginning that stole the purse? So Shank is still alive. I'm really trying to make this all come together before it actually comes together. Because this does not look like Samuel L. Jackson hanging here. Can you stand on the sidelines while justice is finally served? But Pete went to jail. Justice was served. How, how was justice not served when he went to jail? That is fucking brutal. But as usual, they're too late. The damage is already done. There's no saving him now. Boy, you've got shards of glass in your face. Yep. I've been loyal to you since the first day we met, 15 years ago. The day your partner killed my father. Oh. Hey! What happened? What happened? What about your son? This is my son, Charlie. 
it's not a family photo. He right sled Boz down the subway tunnels. I tattooed my dad's name on his arm. Okay. Thank you. The fact that I put it together. <laughs> pretty, pretty proud of myself. That's why I want to team up with you on this. You find the dirty cops and I'll take care of the rest. Okay? You and me. Okay. What? Let's do it. Remember, there's a sliding metal door, you know, it's not good. You're not jigsaw. It's ticking, man. Think fast. You know when that music starts. That's fucked up. Stupid music, too. Um, hmm. Okay, let's talk about it. Um, I kind of broke it down. I kind of figured it out very early. <sighs> Shank tanking his phone. 100% made my feelers start to tingle. I, I did not catch when he said, you know, I've been dreaming about this since I was 12 years old. But I, I, I feel like it was still predictable. Like, especially when he came up skinned, I was like, yeah, I really think that that's the heroin addict. Maybe I could write a Saw movie is really... <laughs> the moral of the story is, maybe I could write one of these. What I liked about it. It wasn't a direct copy of Saw. It was uh, a reimagination. They still mentioned John, and I still got to see his face. It was. It, I, I do like that they, instead of using Billy the puppet, that they had a pig puppet, and that they still had big face, because, you know, if you're going to have one constant, let it be the thing that, like, brings me joy. I did not like the acting in this movie. You know, here's the thing. I love Jim Carrey, and I love when he does serious roles. I love him when he's funny. But Chris Rock is kind of a more serious actor. I feel like he was like channeling Denzel Washington from Training Day, but because it's Chris Rock, the quality of the acting really isn't there. I just wasn't a fan of him in this role. And, and I wanted to give him a fair shot. I really did. Um, I was like, people can surprise me because there have been plenty of actors that I was very surprised when they had a role that was opposite of what we knew, like just how great they were. I guess the actor that plays Shank is Max Minghella. I recognized him from Handmaid's Tale, um, and I wanted to call him Nick the entire movie, which I've already <laughs> screwed up other names. There I say that this was predictable. It's not a horrible movie. It's not great. <sighs> Bummer, dude. Uh, I really, really wanted to like it. So I don't know if there's a plan to carry on Spiral or not. Do I think Detective Shank is a good villain? No. I don't even particularly think he was that great of a character. Hmm. I don't know. Spiral, man, I really didn't like Jigsaw, but I think I dislike this one more. This one didn't have a Saw feel to it. I mean, every now and then you'd occasionally get like the green lights and I was like, yeah, I'm like pig face. And... But it felt like a copycat, <laughs> which I guess is the point. And maybe I'll have some commentary while I'm editing it. I'll have something good to say or something that I want to add. I, I don't know. All I know is that I kind of predicted a lot of things all the way through it. And I will tell you that with the majority of the Saw movies, one through seven, couldn't have done that. Couldn't have done that. I never, ever guessed Hoffman was in on it. Like, and then all of a sudden he was. 
and 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 the links that they made in between those movies like i just i i couldn't see it coming and i loved that about it this i saw coming the twist at the end with Samuel L. Jackson being a puppet and then, you know, shooting him. Okay. It's not that big of a twist. You know, Chris Rock yelling no as, as Shank is like going down the elevator. I just... Meh. I'm really bummed. I'm really bummed. I really wanted to like these movies. One through seven, man. How's my heart? How's my heart? Bummer, dude. I do want to give kind of a, a definitive <laughs> saw ranking. I want to give it a definitive saw ranking of the movies that I liked the most. And I really feel like it's going to be one through seven, Jigsaw, then Spiral. It's just which ones through one through seven are the ones that like make me just in awe I, I think it's really what it is because none of them are bad i wasn't a fan of the way four ended or six only because i didn't get a final conclusion and there's some that ended without a game over i mean if you're gonna knock off points i guess that's something i'm gonna knock off points for uh, stay tuned <laughs> Um, I know in the next couple months I've got some other things going on. I'd really like to finish The Bad Batch or at least get progressed further on that because I kind of um, stopped during October to start the scary movies and then I didn't realize that I was going to get hooked on Saw the way I did. Um, I do want to do more movies like Insidious. Um, I did mention that I've never seen Dexter and a lot of people were like, what? So I might try, but I'd really like to, to finish something that I've started. But I realized today that I was watching other reactors react to the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and uh, I realized I've never watched the Andrew Garfield movies. I was like, who's the lizard? Um, so I'm probably going to try to do those before No Way Home comes out. So there might be a gap in the horror genre. Um, or I might do a horror Christmas movie. If you guys have a suggestion for <laughs> something that's horror that takes place during Christmas, obviously like I've seen Krampus and I've seen, of course, Gremlins. Of course I've seen the Gremlins movies. But if you can think like of a really good one, I, I would like to also do a horror Christmas movie. I've also never seen, <laughs> in people don't believe me but i've never seen christmas vacation either i'm not a fan of chevy chase i'm just not um but i've been told that i have to watch it so i might also react to that one too <laughs> i've seen so many movies and it's just amazing to me that it's like christmas vacation and the godfather movies never seen uh <laughs> I've, I've got some things that I need to see and I need to watch. Someone also suggested The Game, um, which I think is David Fincher. I've seen Seven. So if it's anything like Seven, I think that I would probably really enjoy it. But on that note, uh, Spiral's done. The Saw series is completed. Meh, meh. <sighs> bummer, man, bummer. Huge bummer. I might go back and rewatch my own reactions just so I can have those feelings all over again. I think I'm going to go do that. All right, guys. I'll see you in my next reaction. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll have something to say during editing. If, if I don't, then it's because I just, I said it all at the end. So I'll see you next time. Later.